Five Nights at Freddy's is, uh, not what it used to be. Whenever I think of Five Nights at Freddy's, I think of what it was. A simple, indie, horror game. That's it. Not silly robots building a pillow fort. Not a racing game where you play as a rotting corpse. Not any of this stupid- I mean, what the- what even is that? Look at that! Needless to say, Five Nights at Freddy's today, in my opinion, does not represent what Five Nights at Freddy's was. So, in this video, I'll be looking back at the first two Five Nights at Freddy's games. Today is Five Nights at Freddy's 10th anniversary after all, so what exactly does playing these games consist of? Well, for each game, I'll be playing nights 1 through 6, and then after that, I'll review them, looking at what makes the games good and bad. So, uh, without further ado, let's go back to August of 2014, shall we? Five Nights at Freddy's, everyone. Yeah, get out of here, buddy. Okay, so, nothing happens until 2 a.m. on this night. So you could literally just sit here and do nothing and you'd be fine. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here for what, three minutes? That's how long it takes? All right, there we go. I sat here for, I wanna say four minutes. But yeah, as you can see, I'm fine. No nothing happened. Uh, yeah, back to waiting. Yeah, no, this- this night is boring. And there you go. Uh, shut the f*** up. Uh, I- I'm not hating on this game by any means. I love the way it looks. I love the, the aesthetic of it. I just think it's boring as sh**. <laughs> now that's scary. That's- that's scary. Oh my god! Fuck. If I just sit here, and I don't flip up my camera, I'm fine. I see why people are so scared of this game, I mean- Do I win yet? OH MY GOD! Oh yeah, this is where he dies, by the way. Yeah, it's scary. I know. I know. That's why I turned it off. Okay, so I might be dead. Did you see that? That's weird. Uh-oh. Foxy was edging that entire night. Right on the edge. The entire night. Ready for something spooky? You know, sometimes I forget that FNAF nights, at least in this game, are nine whole minutes long. Which is hysterical. Hi! Yeah, that- Yeah. Night 6? Why would- why? Why would I come back? <laughs> 5 a.m. Will I win? <laughs> okay, and that was FNAF 1. I'm about to say a lot that has already been said about this game. I mean, it's been out for 10 years, but you know what? I don't really care. 
Rather than simply rating these games out of 10, I'll be putting them on a tier list to make it more interesting. Alright, one thing this game really does right is its atmosphere, specifically the sound design and visuals. The sound design? Very good. Examples being the otherworldly ambience that plays throughout the night, the animatronic footsteps getting closer and closer, the carnival music, foxy humming, whatever this is, all really really good and add to the atmosphere. And the visuals? Very creepy. I like it. One good example I can really give of this is how dark the place is on the cameras and how seemingly lifeless the animatronics are. It's a constant reminder that you shouldn't be here and this is a side of the pizzeria that you normally don't see. Again, adds to the atmosphere really well and very creepy. Alright, now for the part that makes this game, well, a game. The gameplay. I think it's good, I just think after a while, it can get pretty repetitive. You can beat the entire game, including its hardest mode, by doing this simple strategy. Check left door, flip camera up. Check right door, flip camera up again. And then just repeat that throughout the night. That is the entire strategy. And it works because you're fending off both Freddy and Foxy no matter what camera you're watching, and the doors fend off Body and Chica. Simple as that. It's repetitive. So in my opinion, FNAF is getting an A tier. It's not quite an S tier, but it's still really iconic and a great introduction to the franchise. It really set the bar for how good a FNAF game can get. But yeah, pretty scary, that's about it. See ya. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. All right, let's begin. Woohoo! We got a camera here, much faster than the first game. Oh my gosh. We got a music box here, we got a mask. Revolutionary stuff, I mean. So like the first game, I'm pretty sure nothing happens until 2 a.m. on this night. Somebody moved! Look at him. Look at him! They changed his guitar in the mobile port, by the way. Uh. Apparently, I don't know why. I guess the design is copyrighted. He's gonna go in the vet! That's scary. Toy Chica! Nice job, team. So, uh, nothing really happened for the rest of Night 2, so I got a cool little fun fact about FNAF 2 for you. So, most of you probably already know that Golden Freddy was labeled as Yellow Bear in the FNAF 1 game files, as he wasn't given an official name yet. But did you know that Withered Golden Freddy is still labeled as Yellow Bear in FNAF 2 even after being given his official name? What? That fact is completely useless and you could have gone your entire life without knowing that? Uh, on to Night 3! Alright, this night is gonna be interesting, cause uh, I'm pretty sure everybody's on the loose, right? Get out! Get out! Ooh! Why isn't the- why isn't the sound playing? Does the sound not play when you- okay? Alright. Other than that, I mean nothing. I'm about to run out of flashlight battery. What is wrong? It's it's not even we're not even close to being done. Alright, we are conserving power from now on. Are you serious? Oldest trick in the book. And I fell for it. Travis Scott! It was bound to happen. I mean I was about to run out of power anyway. Ooh no. Ooh! You really thought you were about to get me. 5 a.m. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Oh my god. It's Chica. Goodness gracious. Who is in the vents right now? Oh, dude. There is no way he's getting me. What do they want with me now? Oh. It's William Afton. Night 5. I mean, hey, it's Five Nights at Freddy's, right? Get out! Get out, get out, get out, please! No! Oh my gosh! I'm dead. She definitely got me. No! That, there was no way. Oh my gosh! I wasn't expecting him to come in here. What? Put the mask on! 
What? Oh my gosh. What was that? I hope I just win. Come on. Dude, I'm so happy. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. Night five, I barely, I barely got out. Ooh, nope, I'm dead. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's go! Yes, dude! We did it! For many people, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 is the best FNAF game. There are also people who say they hate it, and it's the worst in the series. And while I do disagree with the notion that it's the worst in the franchise, I do see why people would think that. The game does have flaws. To those of you who absolutely hate this game, I'm sorry, but I like it, and I'll be going into why I like it. For starters, it pretty much took the concept of Five Nights at Freddy's and went wild with it. It added more characters, introduced new mechanics, and so much more. Unlike FNAF 1, FNAF 2's gameplay is not repetitive. Because rather than having the doors be your only defense against the animatronics, instead you have a flashlight, a mask, a music box, and no doors! Because I mean, come on, who needs doors in a FNAF game when you have these things? FNAF 2's gameplay is often criticized for its difficulty and for its mechanics just not being that great. First of all, and this is just kind of a personal preference, but I like the difficulty spike. I like not having to wait for the animatronics to slowly creep up on you. For a first time player, I could totally see why it'd be hard to get into this game, but I'm just not that kind of guy. I like games that are fast paced. As for the mechanics, they can definitely be tweaked a little bit. I do agree with that part. I can't really say how I would tweak them, but just stuff like the music box. I feel like that's a bland mechanic at this point. Alright, that out of the way, I think we can finally get into the sound design and visuals. Sound design. We have scary ambience that makes you feel like you're in danger. Animatronic footsteps, animatronics moving through vents, balloon boy, the music box. I mean, it is kind of a shoddy mechanic, but I think we can all agree that it's quite the banger. This weird sound that plays whenever an animatronic's in the office. Uh, S A V E. The weird voices that play during these cutscenes. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that the sound design is pretty good. Alright, and visuals. It's still pretty creepy. I think the only scary animatronic in the game is Wither Chica. Everyone else is just kinda... Yeah. I love the overall feel of the game though. I like the 8-bit lore minigames that sometimes play when you die. I like the introduction of all the easter eggs and secrets. Speaking of the easter eggs, allow me to introduce you to Dumb, Dumber, Dumbest, and Stupid. Or as they're more commonly known, Shadow Freddy, RWQFSFASXC, JJ, and Endo02. These guys just kind of show up every now and then, and it's yet another reason why I like FNAF 2. Not to discredit FNAF 1 or anything, it did have Golden Freddy in a couple poster changes, but I don't know, just knowing that at any moment these guys can show up makes the game feel that more special. Okay, so, the gameplay could have been worked on. The visuals are pretty good. The sound design is also pretty good. This game was really close to an S tier, but I'm gonna have to give it a high A tier. Before making this video, I thought for sure this would be an easy S tier, but after replaying it and seeing other people's opinions, it's just not really an S tier for me anymore. Even with its flaws, I love Five Nights at Freddy's 2. It's mostly just because I'm nostalgic for it, but I don't know, it's just wacky and zany and I love it for that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, those were the first two Five Nights at Freddy's games, and playing these really showed me how different the franchise is now. Like I said, doesn't really represent FNAF well in my opinion. I also learned another thing after playing these games, and that is, I kind of have a new perspective on Five Nights at Freddy's as a whole. What do I mean by this? Well, Five Nights at Freddy's isn't really a game, it's more of an experience. It's a story that can only be played out once before it's not the same anymore. And I know that might sound obvious, but just let me explain anyway. If you asked me a month ago what I thought of Five Nights at Freddy's, I would say, Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, it's pretty good. 
but when I say it's good, I don't necessarily mean it's fun, because I don't ever see myself replaying this game, the only times I do is when I'm showing it to somebody or for a damn YouTube video. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I've just played these games too much to the point where it's boring. Definitely a possibility. But it's okay for Five Nights at Freddy's to be boring. Why? Because it was never necessarily meant to be fun in the first place. So yeah, that's how I view Five Nights at Freddy's now. And even after everything I just said, there's still a special place in my heart for it. It definitely has a lot of flaws. The jump scares are cheesy, the story is complicated, you kind of have to find it out for yourself, it's cryptic, it's never laid out in front of you, it's never obvious. But I don't know, I just can't help but love the franchise. Speaking of the franchise, in part 2 of this series, I'll be going over FNAF 3 and 4. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it! Yeah. Jokes aside, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is kind of my first time ever making something like this. And by the way, everything in this video is just my opinion. If you have your own thoughts on Five Nights at Freddy's, I'd love to hear it in the comments. Alright, thanks for watching.